Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your reseller private name servers. So if you're using our reseller cloud, that means you're most likely a web development agency or a, a local web marketing agency and you're providing your customers with web space. Well, of course, you want all this to be white labeled so they don't bill through us. You bill them directly and, and you just use your space for, that we've allocated you to set them up in our high performance cloud. And um, to do this, you want to give them private name servers. You give them your, your private name servers to hook up to their domain. Um, there's been some, several questions about this, so we decided to go ahead and just publish a blog post along with the video um, to accommodate everyone here. Now, of course, we set this up for you free of charge. If any of this confuses you and you're a Name Hero client, just submit a ticket and say, hey guys, set up my private name servers, and we'll get right on that. But for those of you that want to do it yourself, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Um, so as soon as you sign up and get access to your reseller account, um, you just want to click here to basic cPanel and web host manager setup. And for our example here, we're using the domain namehero.org. So we can see that these are the two name servers that have been automatically set up. So in your case, it would probably be ns1.yourdomain or yourwebagency.com and ns2.yourwebagency.com. So these are what you're going to provide your clients to hook their domain up to your web hosting service that you're selling them. But we first have to do just a couple of quick configurations. So where this takes place is where you registered the name. Okay, so some of you may have registered your name at GoDaddy. Um, if you did, then you actually have to go over to GoDaddy and do these next steps. Now, if you want to, you can transfer your domain to us, and I'll put the link in the blog post, and then you can do this in our portal. So, right now, here is the um, namehero.org, since we registered it from us, and, um, and we're going to be able to set up everything right here. So, we're going to simply click here, Register Name Servers. Okay, so this is just the portal where we purchased the domain. If you purchase at GoDaddy, then you will have to do this through them. If you purchase somewhere else, then you have to do it through them. Now, once again, if you want to transfer, you can transfer your name to us, and then you can just follow my steps. So we're going to click Register Name Servers. Okay, so now all we need to do is actually set up NS1 and NS2 in the proper IP address. Okay, so this is where it gets a little confusing for people. But by default, you're just going to do NS1, because that is what's over here. So ns1.namehero.org. And by default, you're going to use this IP address. There we go. Now, this is going to be in your welcome email from us. Now, if you've ordered a dedicated IP or more than one IP address from us, then this might be a little bit different. So you want to use the IP addresses that are assigned to your account. If you have any questions on that, you can simply submit a ticket and we'll let you know and we can even do this for you. But by default, your IP address is going to be this one right here. But once again, it will be in your welcome email from us when you sign up because it, it depends on what node that you are installed on. Um, this is just our default node, though. So we're going to click Save Changes. Okay, and I've already got that registered here. So I'm going to get an error, but you will get a success. And then the same thing, you want to do ns2.namehero.org. And the default IP address is going to be this one. Now, like I said, if you've ordered a dedicated or you have more than one IP, then it's going to be a little different than this. But by default, this is what you have. And once again, you're going to click Save, and we'll probably get the same error here since we already have these registered. Um, under our account, but you will get a success. Now, if you entered something incorrectly or you need to modify it, you can do it down here. You can enter NS1 and you can modify anything that you need to modify, the current and new um, and all that good stuff, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to return back to the namehero.org in here. And what we want to do is we want to enter the custom name servers we just put in. So we're going to click here, and instead of using the default ones, we're going to go ahead and type in name ns1.namehero.org, ns2.namehero.org, and we are going to click change. Okay, once we do that, again, we make sure everything is good here. Now we're good. Our namehero.org is now connected to the domain name that we're going to use. So most of you in the United States, this will become active. It's got to propagate. And this is the process to where everything just syncs up, where the name servers sync up to the IPs, and, and you're able to access from your browser the web server. Now in the United States, this most of the time takes about an hour or two. 
Um, if you're out of the United States, you're looking at maybe 24 hours and even as much as 48 hours, especially if you're in a country that doesn't, um, that your internet service provider doesn't update named servers as frequently, it might take up to the 48 hours. So what I recommend doing now is, you know, go get some coffee, um, take a break, go, go on their project and then check back later. Now there is a tool though, that when you come back that you can check and it might be active here, but we'll go ahead and, and try ours. Um, it's into DNS here. And what we'll do is we're just going to type in namehero.org, enter. And you can see it still hasn't changed yet to reflect. But when it does, your name servers will be here that we just entered. And you should not see any red. Now, if you get a little yellow here, this here is normal because it says this is not okay, <laughs> but this is okay because we've set it up. Um, but if you see any red, then you want to definitely let us know. But into dns.com slash your name.com is where you check that and make sure everything is good once it changes. Like I said, it could take about an hour. Um, it could take um, two or three hours depending on your location in the United States, but most of the time it's done fairly quickly nowadays. Um, but again, if you're outside of the United States, you want to allow it 24 to 48 hours for all this to change. But other than that, you can then begin giving your clients these private name servers and they know nothing about Name Hero. They're using your service. You're buying our space and everything works out just fine and dandy. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. Our help desk is operated 24-7, um, 365 days a year. So we're here to help you. And, and once again, if this is any bit complicated, let us know. We'll do it for you free of charge. Thanks a bunch, everyone, and enjoy the Name Hero Cloud.